Hello okay, friends, welcome to today's class and today's lecture is on second part of electrical stimulation that is transcutaneous electrical nerve stimulation or TENS, right? So when we talk about TENS or when we talk about trans, sorry, cutaneous electrical nerve stimulation, right? So what does it mean? Any current that is given transcutaneous, cutaneous means skin or superficial and trans means across. So across the cutaneous, if any current is given, that is known as transcutaneous electrical nerve stimulation. And uh, uh, because it is a electrical, right? So it is given from outside. So we call it as now electrical nerve stimulation. Now how does this differ? from uh, the electrical stimulation that we have studied previously or from other forms of electrical stimulation is that this is a low frequency current that we are using to pass it on across the uh, skin and stimulate nerves, right? And here when we talk about nerves, we are talking about superficial nerves and more or less we are talking about sensory nerves and not the motor nerves exactly. Although as a byproduct, it will be stimulating motor nerves, I mean muscles also, but the primary function is sensory nerve stimulation. So any current that can be given across the skin can be graded as transcutaneous electrical nerve stimulation. Now, uh, this is in, uh, our painkiller. This is an analgesic, a pure analgesic in physiotherapy that is used for pain killing effect and this 100% acts on the pain gate theory as we go beyond as we as we progress in this particular topic you will learn everything about the physiological principles of its effectivity and its mechanism of action as well as the types of current etc so to know uh, briefly tens has normally three types and those three types that are used commonly for clinical purposes are the conventional tens, right? Then there is acupuncture like tens, right? So it is known as AL tens, and then there is burst tens. Uh, we'll discuss the details about each waveform as we go uh, beyond this. Now, uh, physiotherapy also has an anti-inflammatory, it also has a muscle, uh, uh, you know, relaxant, it also has a painkiller, analgesic. So, in our field in electrotherapy, this is the painkiller that we are going to use for many types of pains or any types of pains, although with contraindications and precautions that we'll be discussing at the last of this whole chapter, right? So, let us only understand over here the parameters that are confined to tense. What are the parameters? We know that parameters are the, the uh, units that we are using to give a definition to that particular current, right? So, the waveform for tense, right? The waveform for tense can be, it can be monophasic, right? This is a monophasic waveform. It can be biphasic, right? It can be biphasic. Now, biphasic again, it is symmetrical. What do you mean by symmetrical? The same current is upper and the same current is the, uh, below also. So, this we call it as biphasic, right? So, this is symmetrical biphasic. This is monophasic, right? Monophasic is having single phase, it is not having another phase. Uh, symmetrical biphasic is having two phase, right? Then it can be uh, asy asymmetrical biphasic, right? It can be asymmetrical biphasic. So this is, there is no symmetry in the above current and the below current. So this is known as asymmetrically biphasic. And the last is a twitch current. So what it a twitch current is, you go it down and it goes down. A twitch current is a current that flows in this manner, right? So there are these four ways, right? Monophasic, okay? Symmetrical biphasic, asymmetrical bi biphasic or 
spike take and there are these four ways how we can deliver the current fine now what is the amplitude of the current the amplitude of tens is amplitude of tens is 1 to 50 milli amperes so it is essentially a low frequency current that you have to understand the duration of these pulses are 10 to 1000 microseconds it's microseconds it's not milliseconds it's microseconds right the frequency of the current is 1 to 250 pulse per second right it is pulse per second and then it can be uh, given in various modes so modes can be continuous it can be burst right so these can be the modes with which the current can be basically given right so amplitude of the current 1 to 50 milliampere duration 10 to 1000 microseconds frequency 1 to 250 pulse per minute it can be continuous on burst and waveforms of this current can be monophasic symmetrical biphasic asymmetrical biphasic and spike okay so these are the basic parameters of tens now uh, uh, in next lecture we are going to understand the physiological effect of tens and how it is actually causing physiological effect and thereby we are going to see its therapeutic effects right and then we are going to see the types of current and how it basically the mechanism of action and then we are going to understand the indications of current and the contraindications and precautions of the tense therapy right so let us move forward to the next lecture before that i want you to revise this and make a note of this whenever you are sitting with these videos you have to sit with your book together so that you can make a notes of this if there is some differentiation that can be because i might be referring some other book you might be referring some other book there can be a little bit of discrimination in the information you can just patch it up and you can make a notes of your own as these lecture goes on right so as soon as you finish this lecture switch on to other lecture and try to remember this because these are mainly important for mcqs whenever you are uh, giving mcqs there are these small small parameters that are asked in mcqs and you should be able to reproduce this information in case you want to pass the mcqs if they are a part of your examination section if they are not they can be asked about in a two mark question that what are the parameters or write down the parameters of tense or they can even ask you write down the parameters of transcutaneous electrical nerve stimulation right so you should be able to reproduce this information with the waveform and with the with the data that i have shared with you right so see you in the next lecture with physiological effects of tense